courage is the tuition to self-enlightenment, to self-knowledge, to self-improvement, to a higher level of spiritual understanding and spiritual growth. If we don't have the courage to take the first steps in learning ourselves and trying to understand what makes us aggravated so we don't treat the other people in our lives correctly, then we can never fix it. If we don't have the courage to look within to say, what are these outside forces that are squashing me, putting pressure on me, until I understand these things are not me. All of these outside forces that are manipulating the internal energies of our soul that, that just seem to grind us down. We all get in these places, and it takes a lot of courage. It takes courage to say, I'm sorry, and really mean it. It takes courage to pick up the phone to call an old friend you haven't spoken to in a long time. It takes courage and the actual effort in reaching out and maintaining relationships with others that have a way about them that allow us to feed off of each other in positive ways and to ask them for that sort of an encouragement and thoughtful, helpful, meaningful advice and giving critical examples of things that we might consider improving on. Because sometimes we all know somebody can say something that says, hey, you're doing this, you're being rude in this way, you're being obnoxious, uh, this is too much. Well, then all of a sudden we, we don't have the courage to look at that and say, let me look at this objectively. Let me step outside of myself to go, wow, okay, maybe I did act in a way that was not beneficial to myself and to others. Most of the time we just shut off. We don't have the courage to rip the layers off of our ego and open it up to say, hey, I, I have courage inside me. I, I can nourish that courage. I can bring it forward and allow myself to be vulnerable. And that is one of the, the steps. There are a few steps. See, you have to have the courage to seek self-improvement, which means spiritual self-improvement. It means learning why and how you act certain ways, which can be a daunting task. I mean, geez, who the heck wants to uh, do that? Who the heck wants to go, man, I don't have time for this. I'm busy. I got to put my kids to bed. I got to make lunches. I got to do all this stuff. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. But then we get to the end of our life and we missed out on so much of the richness. We, we missed out on, on being so self-aware that we can suck up all of those moments just like a biscuit and gravy, you know, we just, mm, just, just love every moment, whether those moments are good or bad. That also takes courage. That takes self-understanding and self-awareness. And that is something that if you're in the local area that we work on every single day. And we had a group of friends out here uh, today. What is today? Today's Tuesday. And it, it's powerful that if you, if you have the ability, well, of course you have the ability, but if you uh, take the effort and have the courage to gather up a group of your friends, to gather once a week, once a month, and, and help each other analyze how you are. And there are a lot of exercises for that. And some of them are really, really fun. Like giving your friends, like nobody has a choice. You have to automatically, uh, whoever you're grouped with, you, you pair up and you, you are forced to, you're not forced I and mean, you don't have to do anything, but you can, you force yourself and the other person say, hey, we're not going to get aggravated at each other. We're going to sit here, but I have to say everything that I despise about you. <laughs> And, and that is a fun exercise 
being because you can laugh and, and play with it, of course, but actually talking about things uh, that way that brings out the the little nuances that we just don't have because we don't walk around with a mirror in front of us every second of every day to see how we interact with each other. And what we think is okay may not be okay to somebody else. We just don't know until it is brought to our attention. And then that ego <laughs> puts up that invisible force field and shuts us down. So if we can practice having courage, if we can practice on a regular basis being aware, thoughtful before words come out, it is it's just really beneficial to the richness of life. And being on a, a sanctuary here where we have a lot of uh, nature where people come and meditate and pray and you can see in calming, nurturing environments where we can open and honestly talk to each other, it makes a huge difference in, in the value that you end up perceiving in your own self and, and how quickly you can turn any negative aspects into you to change that energy and allow it to flow into positive things, positive thoughts, uplifting yourself and each other, and ultimately practice being courageous because it's not as difficult as it seems. It's just like anything. The old adage, you get on a bicycle, once you learn how, uh, it's easy, and then you're never going to uh, fall off a bike. And you're always going to be, if you haven't ridden a bike in 20 years, you can jump on a bicycle and ride. The same way with exercising this type of courage. You, know, you might fall a few times, but then once you continue to practice being open with your friends, being honest, being someone that... Uh, which is one of our mottos here, is to ripple yourself out, let that energy flow out so that when it ricochets back, you, you get it, the love and encouragement and compassion and understanding that can make the whole world a better place. So I encourage y'all, if you're in the local area and we are uh, 30 minutes from Shreveport or 20 or so minutes from Marshall, right centrally located to and people around this area can easily get here. Come out on Sundays at 1.30. We also have all sorts of other fellowship type events where we get together on a regular basis. And if you're interested in that, my phone number is on our website. It's in the description below. Thank you all for joining us. Remember to be courageous and come out and enjoy fellowship with good, trusted people where you know you're in a safe, nurturing environment where we enjoy taking our shoes off and walking in the grass and being in tune with the earth's vibrations and enjoying the beauty that's inside and dwells in all of us and helping bringing that out in each and every one of us. Let's be courageous. We'll see you next time.